honoring the three lives lost in Monday night's shooting as some students now protest for gun reform. Good to have you with us on this new newscast. Let's get to the latest now from East Lansing. We're just learning the FBI is beginning the process of allowing students into the union to collect their belongings that were left behind following the shooting there. Campus police also just announcing all five victims in the hospital remain in critical condition. Their names are not being released. MSU Interim President Teresa Woodruff has canceled classes for the rest of the week to allow time for students to heal. And a walk with students and faculty will start at 5 o'clock tonight at the Sparty Statue and go to The Rock, where a prayer vigil is set to take place tonight at 6. That's near Farm Lane and the Red Cedar River, if you're not familiar with MSU's campus. And also happening now, a protest at the state capitol where students are calling for gun control. Let's get to Grant Herms, who is live in Lansing at the Capitol this afternoon with as that protest gets underway. Grant. Yeah, Jason, the rally here is with several hundred students, including a lot of students who were at MSU the evening of the shooting. When I have our camera guy Jeff pan over here, you can see they just a moment ago, a few moments ago, came up from the crowd as they were, have been listening to student speakers, to lawmakers here talk about the need for what they're calling common sense gun control. You're looking here at the students seated on the steps as they came up. There was a lot of emotion. It was a very powerful moment here, a lot of tears, a lot of hugging, a lot of signs. A lot of students here asking how many more lives? How can we do this again? Several people here also holding signs saying I've lived through something like this twice. Now also here there's been some construction happening nearby in the Capitol and as that work has been going on there have been a series of loud bangings, a lot of popping noises and that has caused a lot of nervousness within the crowd. A lot of darting eyes, a lot of deep breaths, a lot of closed eyes and hugs. Nobody running or anything like that but it is you can feel how traumatized everybody here really is. They're here, their calls and responses. You just heard one there, including at the beginning of this speaker in which she asked students if they felt safe and they resoundingly responded no and did that several times. They are expected to send letters and go into the Capitol today to talk to lawmakers to ask them to do anything, something about the state's gun laws. They here are advocating for tighter gun laws, universal background checks, so-called red flag laws. Jason, we'll have a lot more on that for you tonight. I'll be out here talking with students. Christy will be inside for us talking to lawmakers today as this conversation will continue here in Lansing. Back to you. Yeah, uh, team coverage coming up on this uh, story, coming up on Local 4 News at 5 and at 6. Grant, we'll see you a little bit later. And we want to remind you uh, that help is available if you need it. If you need someone to talk with or you know someone who might be struggling with what's happened and they want to talk about it, free confidential crisis counseling is available 24 hours a day. This is through the Hannah Community Center in East Lansing, right near MSU's campus. For students, that number is 517-355-8270. Other members of the community can call 517-346-8460. And we've put those numbers along with all the latest updates and headlines on the shooting at Click on Detroit dot com.